Ian Pickering is an agroforestry specialist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada and has a long-time interest in the sustainable utilization of trees by farmers. We recently caught up with him at the Indian Head Saskatchewan Tree Nursery. Here they're researching a winter heating system where expensive fuel could be replaced with biomass. Biomass includes uh, things like trees, um, branches, um, you know, wood chips, things like that. Uh, biomass can also be agriculture residues like straw from flax or from, from other grains, that kind of thing. Pickering and his colleagues are studying a heating system which utilizes willow trees as fuel since willows grow naturally in abundance on the prairies. They harvest the trees with the bio baler, a heavy duty round baler developed by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in conjunction with Laval University in Quebec. As you can see, the bio baler cuts and bales in a single pass. It's built to handle trees up to 25 feet high and four inches in diameter. Willow is the one that we've been concentrating on mostly for our research purposes because uh, willows do uh, re regenerate naturally on their own. Once they're cut, they'll come back in three to five years. But you can harvest uh, poplar trees, uh, ash trees, those kinds of things, as long as they're not too big. The bio baler bales are about four feet by four feet and need to sit for six months to dry. At that point, they're ready to run through a conventional hay buster tub grinder which produces wood chips about one or two inches long. Pickering says it's relatively easy to utilize the same tub grinder which is used to process hay or straw for cattle feed or bedding. Just with changing the, uh, the hammers in there that, on the flail um, to a little more, something a little more uh, rigid and, and uh, sturdy then it can be used for, for larger stocks like, like willows. The wood chips are then dumped into a New Holland blower, a machine which is manufactured to push silage into storage silos. But in this situation, it's used to blow the wood chips up the tube and into a conventional 2,500 bushel grain bin for storage. At this point, the automated augering system takes over. And there's an auger that's you see right there in between the two, uh, between the furnace itself and the storage bin, and those chips are augered into there automatically into the storage, into the uh, furnace to, to, be, to be burnt as, uh, so it's all automatic, there's no, nobody has to uh, run that, it's all automa automa fully automated system. The heart of this research project is a 300 kilowatt, 1 million BTU biomass furnace. This system was designed by, uh, by Weissmann Group, it's a company out of Austria that have been using this technology and burning, uh, using this type of technology to burn wood for heat for 30 years. Um, so they designed the, the actual unit itself. Uh, then uh, we, ha we, um, we contracted a company by, by the name of Fink Machine from Enderby, BC, that actually put the, what you see here inside the container itself. The furnace has a proven efficiency of close to 90%, so Pickering expects it to be a lot cheaper to run this than using natural gas. That efficiency means there should only be a small amount of ash to clean out of the ash bin. So that is where all the ash ends up from the burning process. Um, when you're burning uh, willows or, or <clears throat> woody biomass like trees, the amount of ash is, is very minimal. So whenever that fills up, uh, you need to take it out and and dump it. And what you can do with it is you can actually dump it right into the soil, incorporate it back into the soil as a, as a fertilizer. So none of it actually goes goes to waste. The furnace will be heating about 40,000 square feet of building space using its hot water system. Pickering estimates the cost of producing the bales at about $50 per ton for naturally growing willows. He figures the low cost of the bales should help pay for the furnace. This particular system costs two hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and that is for the the container, everything that's inside the container, um, the uh, auger and the chimney, the stack. That doesn't include the uh, you know the bin, any of the tractors or the baler or the hay buster tub grinder. Most naturally growing willows are found in rings around wetlands, which shows the potential for this project to create both environmental and economic benefits. But this, with this particular system here, what we're hoping to show is, 
Is that a, su a sustainable system that will allow farmers to actually see some value and get some value out of those willow rings because they can use them as a fuel source for uh, to heat, you know, to as a heating source. So, and plus it it, it also um, leaves a wetland on the landscape. Pickering and senior agroforestry technician Chris Steffner are hard at work getting the biomass furnace project up and running and plan to invite farmers and researchers to come see it firsthand in the near future.